Hey guys, it's VVids and welcome back to another video. Uh, so this is going to be a quest guide on how to do Horror from the Deep. Um, so before this, uh, before you start the quest, you'll need to complete a bar core minigame, and I'm going to show you how to do. And I'm going to show you how to do this in the video. Um, but if you already have completed this bar core minigame, um, you can skip around to the four minute mark to be to begin the quest. Um, however, if you are only here for the the boss fight, I recommend you skipping to around the six minute mark. Um, so before you begin the Barkerel, I recommend getting some teleports um, to the following places. So Sears Village, Falador, Varrock, Ardone, uh, Castle Wars and Lumbridge. However, if you have the Watchtower teleport, this can speed things up greatly. So to begin, you want to teleport to Sears Village, run west to the bar there. Um, and every time you actually speak to a bartender, you want to select the Barkerel option. Um, and that will simply, you know, it will simply buy you, buy your drink straight away and um, you don't have to do anything further. So um, next you want to teleport to Falador, run a little bit west to the pub here. Um, we'll speak to the bartender there and select the bar crawl option. So next you want to teleport to Varrock and run east out of the castle gates um, and then north to the bar here. So once you're inside, once again you want to speak to the bartender and then select the bar crawl option. Okay, so the next place is actually going to be in Varrock um, as well, so run a little bit south to the Blue Moon, to the Blue Moon Inn I believe it's called, um, and speak to the bartender here, um, select the bar crawl option once again, um, and it will give you a little brew to drink, and it will get you signed off your bar crawl. Um, so once you've done that, you want to somehow get to um, get to Port Serim. Now you can do this either through teleporting to Draenor, running west, or you can teleport to Falador, run south, or you can use the Pharaoh Rings and one run northeast. Um, whatever way is easier. So once you've done that, um, you want to. So once you've once you've bought the beer from Port Serim, you want to run a little bit west until you get to the the pay fair dudes, and um, you want to make sure you go to Karumja, um, or a little bit west, and then you want to buy a beer from the the first bar here. Um, and then the next bar will be at Brimhaven, so run a little bit more west through the through the bar gates, and um, speak to the bar tender here. And then um, next is next is Ardon. Um, now I'm only 59, 58 mage um, when I was recording this clip, so I couldn't actually teleport to Ardon. However, if you have 51 mage and you've completed the quest Plague City, I highly recommend you teleporting to Ardon instead of running from uh, Sears Village, you know, southwest. Um, there, it will speed things up greatly, and I am a noob in this video. So once you're around the, you know, the kind of the stores, run a little bit west, run past the altar and the general store, run over the bridge to the west, um, run a little bit north until you reach the bar. Um, once in the bar, you want to speak to the bartender once again and select the bar crawl option once again. You will buy yourself a beer and the dude will sign off your paper. So next you want to either you, next you need to get to your nil. Now how I did this was using the ring of dueling as shown in the video. Uh, run a little bit east until you get to the bar once again. Um, or you can also do the watchtower quest. I believe I'm not sure if that's correct. Um, but you can t you can simply teleport to the watchtower, um, run south under the wall, and then a little bit south further and get to the bar. Speak to the bartender once again and select the bar crawl option once again. Um, so the next place is actually in the Trinome uh, village or stronghold. I think it's a stronghold. Um, now how now how I got there was teleport to Lumbridge, run east past the toll gate, um, which is you know it requires 10 GP, and then speak to the glider dude and teleport to the tree, which is on the top left top left hand side of the screen that you are presented with. So once you're in the Trinome stronghold, you want to run um, you want to go down the ladder, run east, speak to the bartender, select the bar call option once again. So once you've done that, you want to head back to the uh, barbarian outpost and um, you want to speak to the speak to the dude once again. So um, he will once you speak to him, he will allow you to go into the barbarian outpost and you will need that for the quest. So um, once you are ready for the quest, I recommend you bringing the following items. Um, you will need to you, you will need to have 35 agility to begin with, um, and you will need this following items. You will need an, an air rune, an earth rune, a water rune, and a fire rune, uh, followed by any kind of regular sword. I brought a bronze because it's simply cheap, and um, any kind of arrow. So you will also need a tinder box, a hammer, molten glass, 60 steel nails, two regular planks, and some swamp tar. 
Um, now, I also have two suggested items, and they are a, a ring of dueling to simply get to a bank, and a game snake necklace to teleport to the barbarian outpost. So to, be, so to begin the quest, you want to run, uh, you want to teleport to the barbarian outpost and run north over the basalt rocks. And um, you know, you may fail a few times because if you watch the Chris Hachi video, um, that dude failed a lot of times, and it was quite hilarious. So once you're across the the rock, you want to speak to Larissa. Um, once you speak to her, you want to choose the first option three times. And then, um, following those three options, you want to ask her how to fix the bridge and where her cousin is. So once you've asked those, um, you can either teleport or walk to the Barbarian Outpost and speak to Gunjorn. He will give you a lighthouse key. So next, head back to the lighthouse and run, run along the east path until you come to a bridge, as shown in the video. Um, once you arrive at the bridge, you want to use a plank on the side closest to you to fix this half of the bridge and then jump over the bridge and use the, another plank on that side of the bridge to fix the bridge completely. So once you fix the bridge, you want to cross the bridge um, again and then you're able to, so you'll be able to cross the bridge safely and then head back to Rilariza and speak to her. So once you're back there, you want to use your key on the lighthouse door um, to unlock it. So then you want to head up the staircase and search, search the bookcase. Now, uh, once you search the bookcase, you want to choose the fourth option. Um, and I was a noob and I chose like the third or second option. Um, so you want to choose the fourth option to collect all of the books. And once you've collected them all, you want to read each one of them. Um, now, I was an idiot and I didn't read them in the video, um, but you need to read each book. So once you've done that, you want to head up to the top floor of the staircase and use your swamp tar on the lightning mechanism. Um, so once you've used your swamp tar on the lightning me mechanism, you want to use your tinderbox and then your molten glass. So um, once your mechanism is working, you want to climb back down the staircase and then climb back down the iron ladder. Um, now you'll be presented with a, with, with a strange wall. Um, now you want to walk up to it and you want to study it. Uh, so once you've studied it, you will realize you need to use one um, one earth rune, one fire rune, one water rune, one air rune um, on the wall as well as your sword and your arrow. So go ahead and do that. Um, once you've done that, you want to run. Uh, you want to you want to go through the door east of the kind of the strange wall figure um, just to make sure that you have have in fact opened the door. Um, as it would be fail as you geared up and you came back and it was unlocked and it wasn't unlocked. So um, now do not head down the railing behind that door unless you are ready to fight. Um, now, now you in fact want to gear up and ready for the boss fight. So the boss fight is probably the main reason you're watching this video. And if you have you know if you have been presented you know with this video. Um, just for the boss fight, I recommend using Mage for the entire boss fight. Um, however, you can bring a special attack weapon, um, you know, for example, a DDS to speed the fight up. Um, now, I just brought air runes and chaos runes with one of each staff. However, I do recommend bringing an air staff with, um, you know, water runes, earth runes, and fire runes, um, as it, it just um, it's a lot easier just to switch spells rather than switch switch staffs and then switch spells again. So I recommend just bringing the runes. Um, so now next you want to head down the railing and then speak to Jossic. Once you've scrolled through the dialogue, um, you want to run west where I am and you cannot be hit by this Dagonoth, so you just want to mage it until it's dead. And so once the smaller Dagonoth is dead, you will be presented with the Dagonoth mother and then you want to run northeast and hide behind the stalagmite as shown in this video. Um, so take note, instead of relying on looking at the Dagonoth appearance um, to find out what attack style you need, um, now have a look at the chat box and you will notice that you know it, it's saying um, you know it's red, it's blue, it's green, it's orange, you know it's white and blah 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 blah. Um, so you want to have a look at the chat box to in fact find out what spell to use or range or melee to use. Um, but in, the, in this case, I'm only using um, only using mage because I'm not 60 attack and I cannot use the dragon dagger. Um, so obviously, the white is air spells, the blue is water spells, orange is melee attacks, brown is earth spells, red is fire spells, and green is ranged attacks. So um, you can actually not get hit. You 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 can't hit the Dagonoth Mother unless you're using the correct attacks against it. Um, also, throughout the fight, I recommend being melee distance to the Mother as she does not hit as hard with her melee attacks, um, you know, as she does with her ranged attacks. So if if the Mother somehow lures herself around the spike, um, just run around it until she becomes relured. However, you know, in my case, I decided just to show you guys to run to the other stalagmite and um, hide behind it, you know, like I did. It's it's not too difficult. 
um, and then you know just continue this process until she is dead. Um, so when this when she's dead, the quest is actually complete. However, the whole reason you've done this quest is to get the you know the god books. So you got the Sarodomen, you got the Gothix, and you got the Zamorak god books. Um, now to get these, you want to head up the head up the ladders. Um, until you can see Jossic, speak to him with your box in your inventory, and then you can choose either one of your books. So that's all of the quest. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, remember to subscribe for future videos and give this video a like rating. Um, so apart from that, guys, have a good day.